Welcome back to News 5 at noon. The doctor is in. Dr. Richard Minger with USA Health is here today, and today's topic is safety in spine surgery. Now, Dr. Minger, let's start out. For those who need it, how can they have the safest surgery possible? Great. So, you know, I think the safest surgery uh, is the one actually that you don't have, right? So a lot of what we work for and a lot of what we're moving towards in spine care is a true interdisciplinary continuity of care where we view surgery as the last option for most uh, spinal pathologies or spine problems. Um, and then, you know, if you are a surgical candidate, what we really try to do is, is focus and make sure that we have sort of a personalized care plan for you um, and your problem. You're the only one you know, with your spine problem. Um, so the goal is having the right surgery um, and getting people back to their specific goals that they have in mind. And what technologies make spine surgery safer? Sure, we've come a long way uh, in, in spine surgery and making sure spine surgery uh, is safe. I think e even before we step into the operating room with technology, I think one of the most important parts is making sure the patient is as healthy as possible, both with their primary care doctor and then um, with physical therapy leading up to surgery. But once we're in the operating room, again, we've come a long way with things like um, almost like a GPS system in the, in the uh, operating room to know exactly where some of our anatomy is, 3D models that are printed of the patient's spinal pathology, as well as sort of state-of-the-art monitoring of the actual electrical signals um, in the spinal cord. So a lot of different things that when sort of used together, again, for that right surgery, can help people have the best, safest outcome. And in terms of the surgery itself, how do you know the surgeon is safe? Right. So I think, again, that's a very personal sort of uh, relationship that you have with your surgeon. So, of course, looking at their training, looking at um, you know, where they have learned to do surgery, how much surgery they do um, uh, it correlates with safety. But I think a lot of it also has to do with the team around them. I think that's actually probably the most important part of how they're going to deliver care. It's not just the surgeon, it's the entire continuity of care. And we're very fortunate at USA to be in an academic hospital setting and we have specialists um, from a variety of different um, you know, fields of medicine that we bring together to help have the safest care possible. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Minga. We appreciate you being here. Be sure to join us on our Facebook page right after this newscast to ask your questions.